Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. New brewery time. A brewery I've been looking to review for quite some time. That makes it tough, means nothing to you because it's just abstract painting. Yeah. Hidden River Brewing. Uh, this be their breather, India Pale Ale. Um, this was canned. It looks like 10, 18, 24. We're in the beginning of November. It looks like a 6.7% IPA from Douglasville, PA. I actually do dig the can. It's just like an abstract painting as a can, so I, but I dig it. There's something about it I kind of love. And Hidden River, I've had a couple of their beers at Shares. I had a couple of collabs on the other brewery side of things, but I've never actually had one of their beers on on <clears throat> on its own, on proper. I've uh, been looking forward to it. Um, I mentioned this during the unboxing. I kind of like um, orbited the brewer owner's universe or both of our universes back in the day, we're talking 20 plus years ago, uh, when I lived in Wilkesbury, um, and just, I was in kind of just getting into beer. I didn't know really, like I said, we just orbited each other's universe, not really friends. Um, but it was cool to see somebody like from back then kind of open a brewery that I've never been to, which is a really weird story to tell. Anyway, um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, beer wise, I mean, it looks all the part of what you'd want from New School Haze. I mean, it has this rich kind of dull pineapple juice, um, apricot juice kind of look to it. Um, has that pinky finger of this kind of really nice white kind of fluffy, creamy, slightly bubbly, soapy kind of edge to it. And just really glows. It almost glows. Looks like it has a light underneath it. And the way it kind of comes off, the vibes it kind of produces. Give it a whirl. The head comes back with a vengeance. Let's see if we get a nose. Man, it smells really good. Like, it's a very, very impactful nose. You're talking about sub-7% here. You're just bursting at the seams with this really vibrant uh, tropical fruit pineapple with this bright citrus kind of component in it. It is just vibrantly jumping out of the glass. Um, no precursor to a big bittering or any kind of, like, dankiness or greenness or anything like that. It comes off very much on the nose. Could change in the taste, but very much on the nose, like a straight-up New England-style hazy. And just really, honestly, aromatically, it is shooting like bricks of fruitiness at your face. Bricks of fruitiness at your face. I don't know where I got that one from. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Man, that smells so good. Just super fruitiness, a softness to it, this, pre this sweetness. Precursor of sweetness is going to be the soft confectionery thing, not a lactose thing, but it's heavy oat addition with a brewer sugar slash not a ton of maltiness kind of going on. Really smells all the part of a world-class New England style hazy. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's delicious. Man, that's good. Mm. Yeah, that is a fantastic beer. Just this, mm, this richness and this depth of flavor. There's a little bit of bittering here. Probably mostly derived from like a carbonic acid kind of thing. But there is a little a subtle green floating around in there too. Definitely not even close to where it kind of irks me a little bit as carbonic acid can. So I'm hypersensitive to it. But on the other side of things are all those bursting at the seams, tropical pineapple, a bit of citrus kind of fruitiness, and a very, very soft, very, very luscious kind of mouthfeel. It just hits you immediately. With a combination of pineapple and like citrus pithiness, that gives you a little bit of that kind of faux acidic bittering. And then washes in to this soft kind of, it's a, it's, it's a tropical fruit medley for me. It's not necessarily just, it's a mango. It's, it just it kind of reminds me of just a nice, well done, not sweet tropical fruit, like fresh squeezed, slightly under ripened kind of tropical fruitiness. A little bit of sweetness in here, nothing too heavy handed, but enough to where you know you're drinking something of its ilk, of its ABV level. And then because it's not overly sweet, because you have that touch of that bitterness, uh, or AKA that carbonic acid with a little bit of hops, it finishes relatively dry. And you're talking about a, you know, try to drop out all bitterness IPA that's bursting at seams at fruit, but then you end up with this decently 
not fully, but decently dry kind of finish. Makes you want to go back for more. And doesn't like add this super hefty kind of palette fatigue that you tend to get on these hyper aggressive hopped kind of uh, hazies. I think this is fantastic. Honestly, you know, as I said it to get, uh, but, you know, chomp it a bit to kind of dive into some Hidden River stuff because I've had, I've, again, we'll use the word orbiting in this. We have orbited their universe um, at beer wise, having tasted some of their stuff, never really got to review it. So, it was, you know, it's kind of one of those things where I was really hoping it would show and prove. And yeah, without a doubt, showing and proven. This is absolutely fantastic stuff. And some of the best hazies I've had. Single IPA, one of the best hazies, Mount Rushmore status, yes, without a doubt. So there you go. Absolutely delicious stuff. Thank you very much, Ty, for sending this off. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned Ty sent this to me at the beginning. If I didn't, my boy Ty sent this to me. Uh, he has one other um, uh, hidden river for me to dive into, so I can't wait to dive into that sucker. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Mount Rushmore status, yes. Value and availability, don't know on that. Uh, I think they're brewery only. Um something like this hazy ipa something like, i'm guessing this is 16 17 bucks a four pack at the brewery that's my guess hopefully it's in that ranger less and leave you with if you like what we like this if you like world-class haze i'm not gonna lie to you you know um you know there are the for me you know the best of the best when it comes to hazies and this is definitely no slouch um you know and there's some really great hazy producers specifically out towards their way um whether it be evergreen or, or them and there's just breweries that are doing such a great job with the style because that is really hard there's a lot of people to do it rarely a lot of people do it this well so kudos to them and, uh, yeah, if you like hazies, you like this. Uh, Hidden River, have you been to the brewery? If you had that beers, have you had this beer? Let's talk about it all the way down there. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of uh, Hidden River right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.